It's Street Fighter time! Hello and welcome to another video review. Today we're gonna have a look at the Storm Collectibles Ultra Street Fighter 2 King Sagat. They forgot the king over there. One of the originals, actually the original boss from the original Street Fighter, the badass with the giant scar and the eye patch. And the Eternal, the original rival also to Ryu. So, and it's just, I love this character, so I couldn't wait to get my hands on the figure. So I'm not gonna wait. So we're gonna have a look at Sagat. You know when you have a character like Sagat, you want him to look menacing. And I, for one thing, that is already something that Storm has in it with this release. So, having a look at the size of this guy, he stands at about... 23 and a half centimeters almost to the top of his head, which means we're going up to 9, 9.1, almost 9.2 inches tall. So he definitely has some size. And at, before the end of the video, uh, before the final falls, I will stand him up to the rest of my Storm Collectibles cast just to have a look overall how he stands out. And he does stand out. I tried it out, just spoilers. Look at the figure in detail, face sculpt. Yeah, I mean, just look at this. Look at this face. Would you want to pick a fight with a guy like this? No, of course not. Has the eye patch, has the scar on the hat, and the white eye. <laughs> just, I, I love this. I love this. Just like, look of disgust. Get out of my face, or I will beat the crap out of you. And he will. So, you know, for the rest of the figure, obviously, there's not that much to show because it is a simple design. But the muscle work, I mean, Stomp Collectibles and muscle work, that's why they're so good at these fighting type characters. Look at all the stuff, all the detail that went into this. Now, we had some complaints recently about complaints. Just note that they always seem to have the same vein going down in the arms. I'm not really bothered by that, but hey, it is there. I'm more amazed by all of this, all of these. Then you got the scar in the middle. I love the different chains of brown they kind of slapped on there. It's not the cleanest, it kind of goes a little bit awry, but you're not really gonna notice it unless you're going in, like just like, oh, look, look at these corners. Oh, no, nobody cares about that. To be honest, just, just saying. And then you got a little bit of black wash, well, not real black wash, gray wash. A little bit of dry brushing. For the bandages, as you can tell, the lines are a little bit darker. And there's a little bit of white peeking out. And just good looking for some tiger! Blue shorts with the red stripe and a little gray in there. Tons of wrinkles in it. Doesn't really have a butt. Where's the dude? And then we move down to the burg knees for some more tie action and tiger knee with more of the same i'm having way too much fun with this am i am i not allowed to have fun with this just saying but yeah that's that's the overall look of the figure it's good it's really good so for your articulation it is a storm classic lots of soft plastic completely soft plastic torso uh, i mean chest and soft plastic crotch area the head is on a ball joint which has a long pack goes into another ball joint in the neck area and uh, with this one they, they made the, uh, the the hole for the pack pretty deep so you can push it down now it sits on there nicely you can also pull it up give it a little bit of tuck goes all the way around does go side to side a little bit and does go forward to back has some wiggle motion but then you have the other pack in the neck area push that forward you really have to give it a nice little tuck because of the soft plastic it's still kind of pulling back on it, but it does work, gives you some very good motion, also tail side to side, really good stuff. I mean, it's been working for all the Storm Collectibles. I had my doubts in that at the beginning, but uh, yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty good. Now for the shoulder area, you have one ball joint that goes into the chest area, goes into a pack, into another ball joint, and the shoulder itself is on a hinge. So, rotation at the chest area, it's pretty nice, this, this piece is floating around. So you can bring that forward back, it does go up a lot, you have a bicep swivel, got the double hinged elbow, and the fist is on the ball hinge. This is soft plastic, you can actually pull the bandages 
up and down a little bit. You can take these completely off if you want to, if you want some customization. For your Sagat, you can. Now, by the way, you might say, oh, well, that's a pretty big gap in the chest area. I have the thing with the chest, because it's not connected anywhere, you can pull it. You can pull it over a little bit. You can move it around, and there you go. Now it's now it's more even. It kind of tends to go more on this side. Just have to give it a little bit, pull back, and boom, there you go. Now for the articulation of it, it does go forward a lot. It does go to the back as the hat pops off. That's another thing. Because the soft plastic chest piece moves around, you might have your head falling off as you pose them, especially like this. But that's not really an issue, you just pop it back on once you get the pose ready. And you gotta be careful to not get this piece stuck. But anyway, moves back, now I got it completely in there, moves forward. Does leave a little bit of a gap in the front, well actually a lot, but that's only if you're really going back. Has a mouth in the chest area. That's a new feature, the nipples are his eyes. <laughs> okay, ball joint at the torso, crotch piece rotates around, the leg goes out pretty much all the way up. It's a little bit squeaky, so be careful with it. Goes forward nicely and does go to the back, that noise. Ow! Eh! A little, a little bit of grease. Also rotates on the ball, double hinge, knees, and the foot is on another ball hinge. Goes side to side very nicely, and forward, back, and a toe hinge, and that's it. So, for your accessories, you got two faces, gritting teeth, and a <laughs> face. These look very nice. Like, look at the teeth. Look at the teeth detail in there. And then you got the uh, hurt face when you lose. This one looks gruesome as all hell. I mean, look at the eye. Oh my god. I love it. It's just so good, but... Yes, it's that attention to detail that really, what I really love about the line. And you got chomp hands, you got like kind of open booby grab hands, and just these more posing open hands. And you got the tiger effect, the tiger effect. It is hollow, which is kind of weird, but then again, what else are you going to do? You're not, you're not supposed to put anything in the middle, it's really just a small beam um, accurate to the game. Of Ultra Speed Fighter. Ultra Speed Fighter is like the, the Switch version, yeah. And you got these, the, this small little base, which uh, I'm, I'm really disappointed. Because recently they did the small base and you had these, these, these kind of pylons to put it together and to put your tiger effect on it. But in the last ones you also had, um, you also had like a ratchet that kind of claw on it. They completely nixed that, and this is not there anymore. You just have these, these way too big things to connect to each other. Well, I guess you can adjust the size. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really care for it. And then you just put it on there, and then you have your tiger fire effect. It's not on there correctly now, but yeah, you can do that. And then you have your tiger just floating around. And then here's the entire gang, my entire Street Fighter display, just to give you a taste of the size. Obviously the guys in the back are on bases, the Street Fighter V bases, which they don't do anymore as well. But we haven't had, no, we got like a, got like Battle Constant Bison, he doesn't have a base anymore. So yeah, bases are scrap. But we're here for Sagat. Look at the size. I got him in like a weird type pose right now. He has a one knee a little bit angled. But just impressive that he holds that pose. And he's still like a hat taller almost than Akuma, and Akuma is already taller than Shadow Ryu, like Evil Ryu, and you yeah, know, the, si the size with uh, Evil Ryu, I think he was also bigger than regular Ryu, then you got like the half Ryu, but anyway, just, yeah, this is mostly for size comparison, and I mean, here's the gang, the story so far of your Street Fighters, and then there's like the Mortal Kombat down there, just saying. Would you look at this, I just tried to get him into Tiger Uppercut pose, and uh, that does actually work. He stands on one leg, this big beast. I'm really impressed by that. I didn't know I could do it, but I did it! So you could do it as well. So, final thoughts of this figure. I mean, yeah. Um, the bat? I have nothing. 
Do you have anything? I have nothing. The fact that he doesn't come with a base anymore, but I guess they were like, screw it, if you can tie an uppercut like that without a base, why would you need a base? This is... This is beautiful. Anyway, yeah, I mean, the figure is amazing. The size, the paint job, the articulation, Storm Collectibles nailed it once again, and the muscle work, obviously they're very, very good at that. Yes, it is a simple figure. Yes, it doesn't need much, you know, paint job and whatnot. But what is there is done very, very nicely and captures the essence of the character itself. So I am very, very pleased with this one. So without a shadow of a doubt, I can recommend this Sagat 100%. This is the best Sagat ever. Just, I don't even know how much you can top this. So, yeah. Kudos to Storm Collectibles for once again delivering. And, um, yeah. That's gonna do it. As usual, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, card game stuff, and whatever Sagat wants. Tiger!